Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Snowmobiling. Uh, this is going to be a quick uh, part 3 video of Project Antares. Uh, I went ahead and done some of the changes that I did as of last time. It's been eh, maybe a week or two since the last video, but uh, not a whole bunch has changed. The first thing that I did, as you can see, I got a new uh, reservoir top um, for my reservoir. The old one uh, did not have a fill port, basically, and it did not have the capabilities of mounting a, downs a downspout. In there, you can barely see it. Um, it's just a little thing that will drop the actual the coolant level that comes into the reservoir lower than the actual level of the reservoir itself. So I changed that now. And I think it actually looks a bit better with that taller top on there anyway. But this top has five different holes on the top. I'm only using one. And there's uh, there's plug fittings, as you can see, up on top. There's there's two other fittings on top, so I have a place that I can fill it. And then there's two more that actually come out right there. But I'm not using those. So that's been changed. Um, uh, you might be able to tell that the top tube there, I cut it a little bit. I didn't like it how it was so wavy. I might be able to take a little bit off of this, actually a little bit more, but I'm not too concerned about it right now. It's it's pretty straight. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. So, other than that, guys, there really wasn't a much to change. That was just the top, and as you can see, it's not leaking anymore. Um, there was two problems that I had going on. One of them was just the fact that. Uh, I, I I took uh, put a different O-ring on there. The other thing that I did was I tightened up that fitting a bit with a set of pliers, just a little bit more, and it stopped leaking. I actually got it to stop leaking before I put this new top on, but it's all right. I like the top. The top was a little bit expensive, but I'm not too concerned about it. So anyway, this is this is about it for Project Antares for now. Um, the only upgrade I really see myself doing. And then in the near future would be getting another 1070 but I mean my 1070 will run basically all the stuff that I need it to run uh, very easily it will run uh, Battlefield 1 ultra settings at 60 FPS at 4k and on my triple monitor setup as you guys can see below here uh, it'll run it between um, 70 and 80 FPS, which is plenty. These are, these monitors are a bit older, but they're, um, 60 hertz IPS panels, so I can't really benefit from more than that. Um, that's a different topic to talk about anyway. I don't want to get into that, so, um, there's not really much to see. You can see my setup. It's dark in here. I still got to fix the wires. Uh, I think I'm going to be getting just a cable tie, but this is about the computer itself. So after this, I really don't see any upgrades coming to Project Antares for a while. There might be, you know, this little thing that I need to do here and this little thing I need to do here. I think I do want to get some RGB memory because, I mean, uh, look at all the RGB LEDs in my computer. Uh, I kind of need some more LEDs. I need LED cables. And I need LED coolant, and I need LED fittings, and I need... No, I'm kidding. Um, there's not much that's going to be upgrading-wise to do left on Project Antares for a couple of years. Um, I have to do routine maintenance on it, but that's about it. Um, the next time I will upgrade Project Antares is most likely when PCI Express version 4 comes out. And hopefully there's another motherboard that looks as good as this one. For all you guys that want to know, this is the X, this is the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon, and it is probably the second best looking motherboard out in the market right now, because it's just it's black and silver, and it's got carbon fiber um, wraps on some stuff. But that's about it. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you guys with just a little bit of glam footage, and uh, I'll cut this video short. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy these content. There will be more build videos coming other than Project Antara soon. Catch you guys next time.